Hey guys, it's your Vaughn and welcome back to another video. If this is your first video, welcome. Glad you are here. Hope you stay for the entire video. And I mean, once you've made it through this video, just check out some of my other videos. See if you see anything that you like and press the subscribe button on one time. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to be giving you a Pennywise haul, a quick Pennywise haul to end the month of March. This is my March Pennywise haul. I did not do one for February. I do believe I did one in January. Um, but this one, honestly, is not that bad. Uh, it's was actually a good trip. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna of course be showing you the stuff that I picked up from Pennywise this time around. But at the end, I'm also just gonna throw in some a few extra things that I would have picked up maybe from like Super Farm or Kappa Drugs, things that I could possibly get in 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 Pennywise. But you know, I just wanted to show you. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. We're gonna see a variety of things, but it's really. It's not an extensive, it's not an extensive haul. So let's just get straight into it. All right, so the time, around the time that I did this haul was like in between sickness, in between myself being sick and my boyfriend being sick. So if you if you don't know what I'm speaking about, then that would be in some vlogs. So make sure you're up to date with the vlogs as well. But first off, we would have picked up, well, I would have picked up a box of Panadol Ultra because at the time that was definitely necessary. And I also picked up some Advil, which I will insert here in the cupboard already. But yeah, I also picked up some Advil because that is what, that's the pain medication that I usually use. I don't, like when I lived in my parents' house, Advil was the medication of choice, not really Panadol. So yeah so we have both so that's that in keeping with sickness and health uh, the next thing that i would have purchased is a can or tin of lysol um just really lysol disinfectant spray of course we have to keep everything clean comes tops hot surfaces groceries so would have picked that up and at the time it was also quite necessary to pick up a tin of this protox insecticide spray um, we were having a little fly problem, but glad that sorted. So I picked one of these up. All right, so we are moving down the line. Next, I would have purchased this Act mouthwash. This is the Act Total Care Anti Cavity Fluoride Mouthwash. I'm now seeing that it says Total Care, and the one that you guys know I really like, the purple one from Listerine, also says Total Care. I don't remember if the other act ones say it was okay, but that's that's interesting. Again, as you guys know, the purple Listerine is usually my favorite, but it's really upsetting that Pennywise does not want to sell it. And whenever they do want to sell it, it's not the biggest bottle that is available. So I just gave gave up on it a little bit. I said, well, if Pennywise doesn't want me to use Listerine, then let's see something else. Let's let's try something else. So I'm trying the act. I have started to use it. I don't know if you could tell um, because I honestly bought these things early on in March and I just never filmed the video. But yeah, I started to use these things so far. It's going good. Um, I do miss my Listerine, but you know, it's a mouthwash. So, and I think Colleen and Gabby um, speak about the act. I honestly remember standing up in the aisle trying to remember what it was that Colleen and Gabby speak about, like which mouthwash, and I hope it was act. But if not, I still have this one anyway. All right, so now we're moving into, oh, one more thing. You know, I have this bag, this whole thing of soap chilling in this bag on the ground here. And I just made my mommy buy me a bar of soap yesterday. So here we have the Dove bar soap. This is in the Go Fresh, Fresh Touch scent. It's just a set of four soaps. Um, we well, I usually use like body wash, like in the nighttime when I bathe, and I really just reserve bath soap for like the morning, quick bath, shower, get out of the house kind of vibe. So this is a necessity. So that's really all there is that. The next product is a repurchase and this is the Nivea Breathable Nourishing Body Lotion. 
an indie scent fresh fusion i have purchased this and hauled this on my channel before but i really do like this it's a very lightweight um lotion that leaves my skin feeling moisturized but it doesn't leave it feeling heavy greasy oily and it has such a light scent that it does not really interfere with my perfume so i'm able to moisturize my skin but also go ahead with and layer my perfumes over it without being you know afraid of the scents clashing or not really working together because i do have other lotions that are quite heavily fragranced um but this is not that and that is why i have this <laughs> another repurchase that we have here is the magic light fresh scent razorless cream shave for bald head smooth head maintenance this is probably like the third or fourth maybe even fifth time that i've purchased this which means of course i really like this i use this to remove the hair on my legs like we're not trying to be bald headed over here like at all but it works really well to take the hair off of my legs and like i've mentioned before there's barely ever a time that i use a hair removal cream that does not irritate my legs they remove the hair but my legs always my this kind of my legs always has this like always has this type of like burning irritation ir irritated feel after using it and my hair the hair well my hair in general is just very coarse hair so i would always leave the hair removal cream on my legs for the max amount of time to ensure that it actually does what it's supposed to be doing to remove my hair so you know the more you leave it on because remember it's a chemical it's basically like relaxer so the longer you leave it on is the more i guess chemical that you're exposing yourself to your hair as well as your skin too so that was always really an issue for me but with this i really i do not really experience that irritated irritated feeling neither am i left with like the razor bumps because you can get like razor bumps even though you're not well that's what i feel it is the texture behind my legs like on my hamstrings used to be really bad as well even after using a hair removal cream um but i don't have anything i have literally no negative experience using this product so unless something else shows up i'm gonna be repurchasing this over and over i've used this once already so i do my whole leg like my calves and thighs but i used it once and i probably have like at least um i feel like if i was to use what's left i'll probably be able to comfortably do either half my leg like my calf area or at least three quarter of my leg i don't know i'll have to let you guys know but i feel so all right so we get into some fun stuff now so i picked up two masks the first one is a deep moisturizing foot pack this is in the tea tree and peppermint scent and this is from the brand Derma V10 Tech Solutions. So I picked up that one, which is for my feet. And then I picked up this one by FPL K Beauty, their intensive repairing gloves with coconut oil, milk extract, and hyaluronic acid. So one for the feet, one for the hands. I just honestly picked these up. I felt like they would be, you know, little self-care type things to, to try. Um, and just really just love on yourself a little bit. So that's what these are and then uh, the last few products from Pennywise are of course hair related so I picked up the I picked up the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with with fig extract and baobab oil I have used this in the past but that was a long time ago but I do remember having oops I do remember my hair really enjoying that and it was a really good moisturizing deep conditioner so I picked it up again I was literally standing up in the aisle trying to figure out whether I should buy like two of the packs you know how the conditioners come in like a pack if I should buy that or spend the money on this but I was just like mm -mm 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 -mm. let's just go with this so I picked this up and I'm excited to add that back and see how it works on my hair now. Hopefully, 
hopefully it still works really well for me. The next product that I bought, this is new, this is brand new, never tried this before. And this is by Caracare Curl Essence. This is a moisturizing shampoo with Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil. And it says here is for natural hair types, three to four. It's free of sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, silicone, phthalates, and petrolatum, which is great. So basically it's free of everything that we don't want which is lovely and I've actually used this twice so far and it is really nice and moisturizing it has a sweet scent but it doesn't like feel it's not like oh my gosh this is too much it's an honestly a light sweet scent I follow a girl on Instagram called Miltress V she's another relaxed hair girly and I can't remember if she mentioned that um, her hair is just uses this as well but I definitely bought it because of Miltress <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm glad that it's available here in Trinidad. And as far as I remember, I mean, the price is on the screen, but I don't think it was like a ridiculously expensive product, which is great. And so far, it's doing well. So I might be adding this to my little cycle of staples. Who knows? And then the last product that we bought is another brush. <laughs> Um, so you guys know of maybe a few Pennywise holds back or maybe even the last one, I really don't know. I bought a, what was that? Like a scalp massager from Diane. I told you anything with Diane on it just calls my name. So this one is also by Diane and this is a wet and dry detangle brush, handheld size. I honestly want to take it out the pack and actually like try it right now and just because it's so cute. I feel like they had two colors, but I can't remember totally. Um, but if they had like other colors, well, this would not necessarily be the color that I go for. But I mean, I have it, which means it had to be just this one. Right, so let's try this. I mean, my hair is pretty much detangled anyway, but. And I like that it's handheld like this, so like, this is cool. I'm trying to see if it's coming through to the other side. I feel like my hair needs a little bit of moisture. Anyway, so that is it. I just thought it was cute and fun. Did I honestly 100% need it? Probably not. Probably not. But it was just so cute. And again, my girl Diane made it. So, what? So, what am I supposed to really say? You know? What am I supposed to do? Just leave it on the shelf. Anyway, so that is all the stuff that I got from Pennywise this round. Now the next few things, it's like three things that I am going to chat to you about. The first thing is this Vaseline Coco Radiant Body Oil. I picked this up, I think, from Super Farm, and I'm pretty sure I do not have the bill. Yeah, I don't know where the bill is, um, but I picked this up because I wanted to, I wanted to channel those girls, you know, who have their skin glowing and shining and looking all I mean my skin looks like if it's glowing and shining right now but there's I'm not sure it's my skin like so long ago but yeah so that's just okay so this is how my skin looks right now right so I'm just gonna take a little bit like this much and we're just gonna like look at that now this is literally the opposite of how I like to feel in terms of like the heaviness of a product. Like it def this is definitely a heavy product. So I might have to use this sparingly because it's literally like a body oil, gel oil. But it looks so good. Pouring bow. It honestly does really look so good. So I picked that up and then the next two things that I picked up are from Kenzie Beauty. One I think I picked up from Super Farm, the other I picked up from Kappa Drugs because I thought Pennywise sold Kenzie Beauty but when I went I didn't see it. So the two things that I got were the dark brown, perfect brow, brow pencil and that is the one that I got from Kappa Drugs and then I picked up the bond eyeliner the lash glue pen 
and I picked the pen up in the clear one they have clear or black but I picked it up in clear um, so let's go into the uh, brow pencil like I said I got the brow pencil in the shade dark brown and it comes in this really nice gold packaging and it's actually double-sided so one side has a really like a thicker um, pencil <clears throat> And the other side comes with a thinner pencil, I guess, which you can use to kind of help to define the tail of your brow. And then what I found was cool was that in the box, you got the brow, the brow pencil, but you also got a spoolie and eyebrow brush, like dual-ended thing. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, so I actually have used this and I like the color. I think there is a black brown as well, but the dark brown works really well. I think it looks good on my skin tone. So no complaints there and it's affordable. And the next thing, like I said, I got was the clear Bond Beats Bond Eyeliner. So it comes in this really, like very honestly, this is a very classy packaging in my opinion. This heavy duty because it feels really heavyweight um, pen and it's just one side and as I mentioned this is an eclair. I literally just used it so if you see the tip is a little bit dark that is why it's like taking up a little bit of <laughs> the mascara that I had on earlier today and uh, once you draw it on your hand like if a lot of product comes out it comes out honestly looking like white glue with like a little thinner version of white glue and it dries clear but shiny so you could kind of see the lines that I drew on my hand so it is clear and shiny I used it today for the first time before like literally sitting down here to get ready to do this video just and I just threw on some lashes some lightweight um, other lashes so that's what it looks like you guys my skin is going through it so don't study that this is not a skin update video but yeah the video has been going for like 23 minutes so let's see the way the camera battery just died but yeah so it is quite stable the other one as you saw just came out really easily but it's honestly what's going on in my eye it works well it looks like it works well so based on that i mean i took off my lashes but i literally only put it on to try it <laughs> but yeah so based on that you can see that it works well and i think it will come in really handy like if you just want us to run a little lash to like feel a little extra to run your daily errands or even if you have a quick like lunch or something not nothing like like if you're gonna be out for like a two to three hours and you just wanna you know throw on a little lash because it is very easy to use you literally just draw it on like eyeliner um you might have to instead of just you know sometimes with eyeliner we are quite easy and we just lightly draw on and the color pigment goes on with this it, you may have to like press it on a little bit which kind of um, makes the application a little bit more not as precise but it dries clear so it's like you can't like you could barely even tell that I had I think something don't mind that but yeah you could barely even tell that you know I had it there so so even if you are a little bit messy with the application it really is not that big of a deal I mean I'm, of course unless you actually have on like eyeshadow then that might be a, a different scene but like I had nothing on my eyelid and it came off and nobody will be none the wiser <laughs> so I think that's a really good idea and I think also too if you take the black one that would be like a two-in-one and it looks as though it works really well this eyelash has a very thin band like you could be like it's a very thin band so I mean I don't know how it will work with the actual like Kenzie Beauty lashes which have a bit of a thicker band I had some hair this is an actual Kenzie Beauty lash band so I don't know if you could tell how thick this is compared to the Ardell one it's like two completely 
I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, so I don't know how the glue will hold up against that, but I mean, I feel like it should be fine because it came from the same company, so it really should work well enough. Anyway, so those are some extra things that I picked up during the month of March, and uh, that brings us to the end of this video. This Pennywise haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you've seen anything in this haul that you've been wanting to try, or you, I don't know, want any further like reviews or anything on, let me know any comments, and we will chat any comments. If it's like a review or anything, of course, I will be here to provide that for you. So thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button down below if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.